So first off, I just want you to go back and forth with your foot. So kick your leg out straight and go back again. Okay. I love being a nurse, but I wanted to take my career and education to that next level. In my experience, it's been a great career move. It's been, it's opened up a lot of possibilities professionally. People are going to get sick no matter what. They're going to need medical care, even if it's a thousand years from now. There is a need in the rural communities. It's very great. What will give me the best opportunity to, to help others and to improve their lives? Mm -hmm. And this, for me, is it. Having my DMP opens a lot of doors for me and, and the fact that I can work in the clinical setting, I can work in a hospital setting. Um, I've also considered working in the university setting as well, uh, helping others to advance their education and I really think that the opportunities are almost endless for what I can do with my degree. We are being the primary providers and being involved in a DMP program allows you to have that extra education just to be that leader that the healthcare field needs right now with the added responsibility in the nurse practitioner role. It gives you more clinical hours, which I think is extremely beneficial when you are going out into practice. I know research has shown that people with advanced education have better patient outcomes. That's one of the reasons that I really was drawn to the DNP program was because I knew that the, having that extra level of education was really going to give me that edge when I was practicing and out in the real world and in my career. National trends now are gearing up towards making the masters into a doctoral requirement for nurse practitioners, so that, that really was one of the key factors in choosing a doctoral of nursing practice program. The ultimate decision came down to the fact that NDSU had the terminal DNP degree and we had the availability to do clinical rotations in my rural site and uh, it turned out to be a really good option for me because I ultimately got my job by doing those rotations and was actually offered a job as a student because of them. I wanted to remain working as a nurse while I was going to school and um, the way that the program was set up was very uh, flexible and, and made it possible to continue to work as a nurse during the time that I was in school. For practicum you can request uh, specialties that you want to go to. You can go to in hospitals. Some girl re uh, request to go to surgery. We do dermatology specialty, neurology, women's health. So they let you do what you think is best. I think the opportunities are endless, especially when you have that family practice background. It doesn't limit you to uh, adults or pediatrics or geriatrics, you can do any of the above. It's not just a family practice program, you know, once you have that degree you can specialize in basically any specialty you'd like. You know, I think the professional opportunities for nurse practitioners are just limitless. Uh, there's a shortage in, in faculty for nursing programs, there's a shortage in primary care providers. One other reason of going back to school is I'm from the third world country and we know how much healthcare providers are needed there, so going back to my country is the ultimate goal. Eventually, I need the, all the experience that I can get so that I can, when I'm there, I know what I'm doing and I know how to set things up. For my DMP degree, my nurse practitioner, I'm working at Ann Carlson Center, which is a center for the mentally and physically challenged and medically fragile, and I get to observe their physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, and. It's just been a very rewarding role. How are you today, Lori? Good. I see clinic patients every day. Just a wide variety of things that I do each day. So and I think that's what keeps me coming back. It's never dull. Orthopedics really pulled me in because I like the ability to be in the operating room and do some hands-on uh, type of skills. I'm in the clinic two to three days a week and I do I work in our walk-in clinic and evaluate new uh, injuries. Um, but I also work in the operating room and I do rounds in our uh, two different hospitals. I love working in a rural area. Uh, my first job as a registered nurse was in North Dakota in a small hospital. The cool thing in the rural area is that you get to do everything. You get to use uh, the entire textbook, as I like to say. You get to do lots of things. You get to grow and stretch. and. Your uh, career doesn't become static or stagnant. You have to keep, keep growing. Being in a rural area, I think it's more similar to where I come from. 
and you just have to apply your skills kind of to the full potential because you don't have somebody you're looking at I'll refer them to somebody else or, or I'll just do a little bit and then somebody else will do the rest of the stuff you have to do the whole thing by yourself and that just gives you the opportunity to use your skills to the maximum. I have a passion for rural North Dakota and I love the variety that those hospitals and clinics have to offer so I probably see myself in a rural clinic somewhere working with the farmers and ranchers of rural North Dakota. I see that being a practitioner in a rural area as well that they're respected professionals and I look forward to taking care of people that I know and care about. Okay, nice deep breath in. I enjoy seeing the families from generation to generation and I do have families where they see three to four generations and you get to know them well, you get to know their history well and really can provide more holistic care. A lot of my doctoral work with my dissertation in school focused on rural communities and rural individuals and how they like to uh, establish a sense of identity and a relationship with their providers and in a rural setting you have that opportunity because you see them both inside the clinic and out. You're also more well known within a smaller community and so people will approach you whether at church, school, any community function and ask you questions about their health and you have the opportunity to help them both inside and outside of the clinic more readily. You get to know them as a whole instead of them coming into the clinic and telling you one simple, one single problem and that's all you know, that's all you see. Whereas in a small town or small community you really get to know your clients a lot better. work in a small community and live in an even smaller community so having a program online is really important because I wouldn't be able to have access to a program otherwise. I like the fact that I was able to do it from where I was. I wasn't uh, near Fargo. It put the doctoral studies into my hands where they might not have been as accessible otherwise. I told them with my heavy schedule here there was no way I could attend classes but I was the first one to do it entirely online. And that was the only way I could have completed it. And so, yes, online is, is just an expedient way to get people into that program and let them complete it. This is uh, an excellent way for people who are in a rur more rural uh, setting to get their higher education while continuing to be able to live their lives. You know they say in the future that we're going to go to where people are going to do their homework in their pajamas at late at night and early in the morning. I think that's a little bit true that when you're on an online class that you are free to work on it whenever you can. Well experienced, very knowledgeable, and they really seem to care a lot about the success of their students. That was one of my favorite parts of NDSU is there's a small number of faculty members that work really closely with the, with the classes and uh, you really get to know them and feel comfortable um, asking and learning in that environment. My advisor for my dissertation has been fantastic. She is my go-to person for any problem that I might have with it and she's just been an awesome resource for me whether it's through my dissertation or through other things that I have going on with school or life and she has been fantastic. Uh, when things weren't going well, which happens in, in doctoral uh, work sometimes, uh, they were able to help me uh, uh, keep moving forward. NDSU I think provided me with an education that was top-notch phenomenal. I could not have received a better education anywhere else. There are lots of DMP programs out there but I think that the NDSU program uh, is really strong in its flexibility and allowing you to follow some of your own goals. I feel like the success that I've had in the last couple of years professionally, I, a lot of that I feel like I can trace back to what I, the tools and the things that I got from NDSU. So I'm very thankful about that. And, I recommend the program to everybody I meet who's considering a DNP program. Mm -hmm.